And ladies and gents, it's Black. Here we have the, I call it the torture PC. Uh, yeah, we're going to try some uh, interesting thermal compound today. Um, actually, this stuff. Permatex Aluminum Anti-Seize Lubricant. Uh, hashtag 878. Um, yeah, I have a feeling this is going to actually perform really well. Because it's... The bottle says... So it's good to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, so one would assume that it can probably handle a, being a thermal interface material. The major problem with this stuff is it literally gets everywhere. So I mixed it up, and it is a silvery paste to put a drop on the CPU. Dollop. That's too much. This is the part where everyone says, You're using too much thermal paste or too little thermal paste. Alright, I'm gonna mount the heatsink now. I decided to thin it out a bit. It was a little too much. So I'm going to mount the heatsink now. Okay, that is on nice and tight. Uh Anti-seize lubricant as thermal paste compound is on there. And I think this is the part where we find out that this stuff leaked into the socket and then it shorts out the entire board and then, well, I guess this series is over, but let's go. It does that. I think it runs the fan at 100% on launch. Alrighty, so we're well it did go to 40 degrees C, but perhaps things are just settling in, I don't know. But we're bouncing around 33, 34, 32. That's close if not completely similar to uh the thermal paste that was on there. Let's run a benchmark. CPU burner. This out of the way. All right, we jumped up to fifty C, fifty two, fifty four. Okay, so, so far, the Permatex Anti-Seize Lubricant is actually working surprisingly well. That's impressive. Wow. Huh. I'll let it run for a few minutes and, uh take a look at it later. Actually, you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to let this dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll take a, another test at it, see if it maybe loses its performance overnight. I've been doing a CPU burn test for, as you can see in this corner over here, around two hours. And that was with the uh, Permatex uh, anti-seeds lubricant and core max reached at 63 degrees Celsius. So it appears uh, that this is actually a relatively decent thermal paste or thermal compound. Uh, I did have this dry over close to 24 hours. I applied it. Uh, I don't know when, I'd, but it, it was around 24 hours. Again, this isn't trying to be super scientific. This is just basically a proof of concept, and if I want to, and if people want to, I'll uh, definitely put this into a more sciencey uh, rigors 
of testing.